Hi, I'm Christina Blacklaws and I've been helping people get to grips with family law for over 20 years. So I understand it's an area where emotions and stress levels can run high. That's especially true when people decide they want to end a marriage or a civil partnership or if they were in a long-term relationship with shared assets or children. Legally ending a marriage with a divorce or a dissolution in the case of civil partnerships is never a decision to be taken lightly, which is why I want to make sure that if you're facing relationship difficulties, you have a really clear picture of all the options available to you. Many couples decide that other options offer a more practical way to reach a resolution quickly and without too much upheaval. One such option can be to obtain a separation order. This is known as judicial separation in the case of a marriage and a legal separation in the case of civil partnerships. In practice, they are identical. Some couples opt for a legal separation instead of a divorce or dissolution. A legal separation gives legal status to your separation but does not formally end your marriage or civil partnership. It can offer a practical solution when a relationship breaks down, especially if you want a bit more time to think about whether you're ready to legally end the relationship. you've been married or part of a civil partnership for less than a year, you want to avoid divorce or dissolution, perhaps because of children or shared property interests. Your religious beliefs make divorce or dissolution especially difficult. Or you think you might struggle to legally prove your relationship has irretrievably broken down. For couples who are not actually married or in a civil partnership, but are facing the breakdown of a long-term relationship, you should consider a legal separation agreement. This can provide a practical way for both parties to reach agreement on areas such as shared property, purchases, children and finances. The justifications for legal separation in a marriage or civil partnership are almost identical to the grounds for applying for a divorce or dissolution. In other words, to successfully apply for a legal separation, you will need to prove that one of the following has taken place. Unreasonable behaviour. Desertion. Separation after five years. Separation after two years and consent. Adultery. It's worth noting that with civil partnerships, adultery cannot be relied upon for a dissolution or a legal separation. Legal separation can also be a practical solution if you're facing the breakdown of a relationship and need help gaining clarity in areas including property, finances and access to children. This is the case even if you and your partner are considering breaking up but you are not actually married or in a civil partnership. As part of the separation process, whether through formal proceedings for an order or between a separating couple, you can prepare a separation agreement. This is a document that formalises the agreement reached between separating couples in a number of key areas including how to deal with any shared financial interests, who any children will live with, what will happen to any items you've bought together, how to deal with any shared debts, how to deal with any joint bank accounts, how to deal with the proceeds from the sale of any property. While a legal separation doesn't formally end a marriage or civil partnership, there are still a few points worth keeping in mind. You'll receive a court order or separation order to show you have legally separated. 
while legally separated, you cannot remarry or enter into a new civil partnership. You can legally separate at any time, whereas you must have been married or in a civil partnership for over a year to apply for a divorce or dissolution. If you do find yourself confronting the breakdown of a relationship, hopefully this short introduction will have helped clarify some of the options in front of you. Our other videos provide further details on specific areas of family law.